Taking home a whopping four hundred and seventy-six dollars with Big Bass taking home another hundred and seventy dollars. What's going on guys? Welcome back. It is four o'clock in the morning and look at what I have here, man. Devin and I are getting ready to go participate in our first tournament, man. Bass fishing bank tournament. We're heading out to Fort Worth. We're meeting at Bucky's. I believe check-in starts at 4.45 a.m. So we got to get on the road. It's about a 40-minute drive. We are feeding the dogs, feeding the cats, getting ready to just get out and have a fun day, man. We'll meet you guys over there at check-in. All right, y'all. We made it over to Bucky's, man, and Christian's hitting us with the pointers. It's our first time hitting one of these, and uh, he gave me the Sharpie to mark our lines here. That way, whenever you're submitting your photos of your catches, it's a little bit more accurate for the judges to see exactly what you got on your plate, and you're not uh, getting shortchanged on the length on your bass, because that's what this tournament's all about. It's like the top five fish, right, Christian? As far as length. Yeah. And there's like, then there's big fish. Y'all know Christian. You guys have information in the description. He's gonna be our uh, our guy today. Guy. Yeah, <laughs> we don't know nothing. We're gonna try and find some spots on the Fish Brain app within the area that you're allowed to fish in today's little tournament. But uh, I think we're just gonna be kind of following his lead. He's gonna take us to a few juicy zones. We gotta go ahead and get checked in, and I'm gonna tell you guys more about this whole competition throughout the day. But let me go ahead and get these lines taken care of so we can get our fish measured accurately. Also, after you get done taking your picture of your fish, throw it back in. Take a picture of your GPS. Screenshot it. So that way we know exactly where you're at. You're in the, within the boundaries. Last cast is at one o'clock. You have 30 minutes to make it to the Guggen factory. At 1.30, that's when penalties start. Props to Big John, he came up with the idea to link up and do a Guggen event, because we love the product. We got some giveaways. If you don't get anything, we're right at the store. You can boot, scoot into the store, store and buy something. All right, let's do it. We're pre-gaming out here, but by the time y'all see this, we done already hit these spots. Oh, don't give him the juice. Three minutes till we head out, man. Everyone is so cool out here. We're about to have us a good old time. A lot of dudes strapped up with GoPros, man. Pretty exciting. Hopefully there's some uh, successful channels and videos being made today. I know we're going to be trying our best to put together something good for you guys. Let's go ahead and hit the water. I think first lines is at 6 a.m., so we got to get to our spot. Uh, yeah, let's go. All right, y'all ready to roll out? Let's go. All right, let's go. Good morning. Morning, how you doing? No, we were going to try and fish the pond over here. Is that cool? Uh, no, it's not. Everything over here is private property. Okay. All right, we'll split. Starting route to seven. Well, we're starting things off on the wrong foot, you guys. We already made it to the first spot. It turns out the Charles Schwab Company does not care for fishermen. We got kicked out before even making our first cast. We're losing valuable top water time over here. Now we're headed back to where we started. We're using Fish Brain and Google Maps to try and find some spots. All right, y'all. Sun's coming up. We are about to make our first cast. I'm starting with top water. Let's throw this buzz bait, man. It's about to get crazy. You can just spook something. Okay, we gotta hit more bank. The clock is ticking. Well, I have circled this whole thing with the buzz bait. Might have to go switch things up and also take this hoodie off because it is getting toasty. Go. All right. All right. First one of the morning on spinnerbait, y'all. We gotta go meet Christian with the board. Oh. So you do need to have your hand on it? Yes, and have the whole board in the picture. Gotcha. So you just mean this? Yeah. Oh, shit. And now it's touching yeah, 1425. Sweet. First one of the morning for me. See you, buddy. Devin's got our board over there. Christian's let me borrow his equipment, which is cool with the rule book. So. I don't need to do anything on the website right now, right? We just log that later? Cool. All right, y'all, I think we're gonna make a move to spot number two. Christian's caught two fish. I've caught one, and I'm not sure if Devin's gotten a bite yet. We're gonna see what we can't pull out of the next spot. Yep, so the first spot we ended up was literally right across from Bucky's where we started. On to spot number two. Secret pathway. Let's see, this place is within the map of areas we can fish. The pond's right here, but it's just, can we get to it? Pulling out all the stops, man. We're taking everything because it's a good trick to get to the bank that is uh, optimal for the fishing. So we're gonna make our way over there, set everything down, and hopefully catch some giants here, man. This spot looks delectable. A little bit of a trek down here, but we are winging it. I think we're almost to the promised land. Poison ivy, so just. Whew. All right, back to the truck. That was a fail.
We know this is a good spot. I wonder if we should like, did you see how we could probably like walk across that field? All right, well, we drove around for like the last hour just trying to find a spot that was public and not private, looking on fish brain, and we finally found a spot, man. We're gonna cast here for a few minutes and then probably head somewhere else. We're just hopping and trying to win this little tourney today. I bet you other people have already got their five fish and we're over here on one and zero a piece. This one's kind of clear though. I can deal with this. This actually looks pretty gosh darn clear. We'll probably go with something a little bit more natural. This spot's too clear and calm. I think a weightless Sanko. Bandito bug is rigged. We are going back and forth on what we want to do today. Well, I hate to break it to y'all, but uh, we are not catching much at the moment. We are going to have to kick it up another notch at this next spot. Devin and I are about to make a move. I literally just walked to this whole pond with a bandito bug, and it's got pretty good clarity and almost like sand bottom. Needless to say, I've been throwing the T-Rig all the way around here. Haven't even had a bite, which is very shocking. We'll catch you guys at the next spot. Check this one out, y'all. Beautiful spot. A small saucy swimmer. I don't know if I would throw that big one in here, but like if you use that underspin, you might be able to get one on a 3.3 inch. How is there no fish in this stuff? Insane. Like that should be getting bit right now. Bandito bug right here on this grass edge. I don't know if this is a tournament winning pond right here. I don't think this pond's gonna do nothing. All right guys, just pulled up to spot number I don't even know, I lost count at this point. Anyways, this is the clearest water that we've seen so far. It looks very, uh, maybe little saucy swimmer or possibly fluke. I'm gonna go ahead, re-rig up the drop shot that I broke off at the other place. Um, standard go-to, you guys know, on the channel. Let's go. Oh no, we just missed a bite. There we go, right off a little point in the rock. Let's go get a quick shot of this guy on the board and get him back in the water. There we go, folks, bandito bug pulling through. We're gonna put this little guy on the board, and I do mean little. All right, documented. Let's get him back in the water. Ooh, we'll see, bud. Cruising, time for more. All right, man, this is like pond number 10. I don't even know. This is a popular spot, too. It looks like everybody's out here. I see uh, one, two, I think three, three folks with the measuring boards out here. And surprisingly, nobody's hitting the stock, probably because everyone's already hit it. <laughs> we'll see. Or maybe because there's a private property, no trespassing sign right next to it, who knows? There we go. That's the spot. Yep, that's a bite. Got him. All right, I'll come under the dock, boys. Hit the shade lines. You, yeehaw. Game winner right there. <laughs> Texas rig under the dock, getting it done, boys, in the heat. Only problem is I'm missing my board. I don't even know where it's at. All right, man, that's fish number three. Let's get him down on the board. Grab my paper tag. That was just a clutch spot. You knew there was gonna be a fish there on the shady side of the dock. Just got here and we see why everyone's fishing it. Let's go ahead and Get that extra half inch with the pinch of the tail. That's a 13er right there, boys. We got this tournament in the bag now. Thanks, buddy. We'll see you. We're getting closer to the full five. It is 10 o'clock, man. Weigh in at uh, 1.30 at the Guggen Squad HQ. I don't even know if I mentioned that earlier, but yeah. 11, 12, so we got like three hours. Plenty of time. We need more size, though. I bet that Jackal Gantrell would get hit here. Switching things up to a Mondo worm for the first time today. See if we can't get some bites. Hey, missed him. I got a plan. I'm gonna switch things up. I don't know if a lot of people are doing this today. I'm gonna throw a decent sized swim bait. How about that? We're gonna throw the jackal gantrail for a minute. My opportunities for this thing given the fact that it is uh, 10.30 in the morning 
and uh, 84 degrees with probably it feels like temp of like 90 95 is going to be the shade lines I assume I'm gonna hit everything but I just am betting it's gonna be tough getting this thing out in direct sunlight and having a bass come up shallow but I might be able to bring something in just because of the big presence of this bait here so let's get after it oh my gosh this looks so good I'm gonna get it I'm gonna get a big one pit stop All right, y'all, we're pulling up to spot number 37. I got a plan of action. It is going to be complete my numbers. I need two more fish. And then we're going big swim bait and we're just gonna try and get the size. Let's get in here. Come on, bass. All right, y'all, let's see if the old fluke don't do something. Okay guys, 45 minutes left. Wow, Devin and I are struggling. We have hit so many bodies of water, we've thrown so many baits, and we just pulled up to what could possibly be the juiciest pond we have seen. I haven't really thrown the swim jig today. I think it has good potential. Surprisingly nothing over here. Probably the last move of the day. Yeah. Woo, wow, y'all, it was not our day on the water. Let me tell you what, we threw everything under the sun. I caught three fish, all dinks, and uh, you know some of the guys had caught nine or 10 fish as soon as we first saw them. I assume they probably got on a good bite at first, possibly top water, possibly just uh, some good moving baits, and this thing was still a bunch of fun, man. We're gonna go ahead and take you guys to the warehouse now. There's a little bit of money on the line, man, and somebody's gonna win big, so let's go over there and we'll end this thing with a bang. The destination is on your left. Guggen Squad. Back. Hey, you guys hey. so third place. We have a two way tie. Due to a one inch penalty. Had 76 inches. Brian, the Slayer, and Rob. Good job, number two angler today with 83 inches. That's Making on the $136. Roger Rowe Riggins, RT. Man, with a whopping 91.25 inches. That's not bad. You usually see that on an online event right there for a whole weekend. Rashad, the master rookie bomb. Taking home a whopping four hundred and seventy-six dollars. Thank you. And with big bass, a big old twenty-one point five zero monster, taking home another hundred and seventy dollars. Nice. Yes, sir. Congratulations. Thank you. We'll have you paid out as soon as we get through with this. Let me get my raffle tickets. Hey, there we go. Hey. That's okay. Well, big or little? Uh. Gotta go big. Big, go big, go home. You. Yeah, come in clutch. Yeah. That's what you get for last place, boys. <laughs> Six, two, four. Hey. 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 The Smiths here to compete. <laughs> and y'all, that was about all the footage we got from today's epic tournament. What an awesome first experience for us. We had an absolute blast. A lot of money on the table too, man. And I think there's another one coming up in August. If you guys want to see more tournament style videos from Devin and myself, go ahead and subscribe to the channel for one. We are uploading daily, even if it is at like one or two in the morning when we can't get to the editing portion until the end of the day. But hey, we're doing what we can, man. Again, let us know if you want to see more vids styled like this one right here. And we will see you on tomorrow's episode, man. Peace. <gasps>